Do you want to fight? <laughs> the rock does not like violence. Please do not do that, John Santa. Please do not. <laughs> Welcome to an installment of Red Scare TV. I am, of course, Red Scare. And today we're going to be talking about the modern left's um, fetishization of violence. Now, what I mean by that is many leftists think that uh, we should always be violent. We should always have a violent stride, especially with the new uh, Antifa movement that has evolved since around 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. But essentially, I'm here to say why that is completely wrong. Now, to begin this... I will be quoting from Mao Zedong, like I did kind of like last time. Um, but he puts it very well in the sense that we really want peace. And I will go into and further uh, into the video and I will disclose why I think complete and utter violence is trash. But to start here is a quote from Mao Zedong from the manual. Uh, as far as we are, as far as our own desire is concerned, we don't want to fight even for a single day, but circumstances force us to fight. We, but, we can fin but if we can, we can finish the fight. And that is from talk with America correspondent Anna Louise Strong. Second quote, we are for peace, but so, long, but so long as U.S. imperialism refuses to give up on its arrogant and, and un unreasonable demands and its scheme to extend aggression, the only course for the Chinese people is to remain determined to go on fighting side by side with the Korean people. Not that we are warlike. We are willing to stop the war at once and leave the remaining questions for later settlement. But US imperialism is not willing to do so. All right then, let the fighting go on. However, many years US imperialism wants to fight. We are ready to fight and fight up to the moment when it is willing to stop. Right up to the moment of complete victory of the Chinese and Korean peoples. And that is from speech of the fourth session of the first national committee of the Chinese people's political consultative conference now essentially communists want peace we don't want to fight we don't like bloodshed to fetishize violence means that we fetishize war and everything else and we don't revolution and violence are caused by contradiction contradictions exploding for example the 1917 st petersburg riots or as it's sometimes called the february revolution baseless violence for example leads to, uh, causes distrust in communism. Cause like, say for when anarchists goes out and pops someone's tires, you know, how, how's that helping anyone? What's that doing for the working class? And furthermore is that in, this leads into the fact that we cannot be what's called, um, adventurous or we cannot be into adventurism in which we are going farther than our tactics can allow us. Cause we must be tactical. Unlike anarchists and other members of the left, we must be tactical if we are to see the complete liberation of the working class. Um, Mao also once said it best, is that we must be like a fish in water. A fish knows how to swim and everything and knows how to breathe in while swimming. We must be like a fish in water, moving elegantly. We can't just, you know, decide that we're just going to go fast, go slow. We need to have tactics. Furthermore, is that violence is an act or at least violence on our part, should always be as an act of self-defense. When we're going out to protest a fascist, to counter-protest a fascist protest, we do not need to go out and be violent because then people get wary of, you know, us popping cars, the tires of cars and stuff like that, or, you know, smashing windows. You know, it's just, it's never a good sight. But if the fascists come at us, we can fully say we are acting in self-defense, but not only in self-defense of us, but of the working class, because who knows of whom they might have been targeting. You know, they could have been targeting a minority or something, and then we could have gone and defended them. 
but we should never go out there and looking for a fight. Baseless violence will only hurt the movement in the long run. I am Red Scare TV and of course, Red Salute.